Welcome to Wireless Quizzes for Canvas. This video is an introductory tutorial to creating questions in Wireless Quizzes, an external LTI tool for Canvas. You may be familiar with the first steps if you've created questions in Canvas before. Let's go over those now. After you log in, go to your course, then go to Assignments, then click Plus Assignment. On the page that loads, give the assignment a name, and scroll down to Submission Type. From the list, choose External Tool, then Find. Find Wireless Quizzes in the list and select it. From the next dialog, choose New Quiz. Add a name for the quiz and optionally add a description. Then click Save and Display and then Edit Quiz. To add the first question, click the Add link and then the Plus a New Question option. The Wireless Quizzes extension adds six additional question types to the standard Canvas question types. We'll describe each question type briefly. Close. Embed multiple questions of different types inside a single question. Essay. Ask an open question where the student has space to leave a detailed answer. This is the only type you'll grade manually. Matching. Match a list of items to the correct items from a different list. Multiple choice. This is a standard multiple choice question. Short answer. Ask a question with a small blank for an answer, which is automatically graded. True-false. Ask a question with a true or false answer. We'll now give a generic overview of what a wireless question type looks like. We'll use the short answer type since it is one of the most representative. Select that question type, then click Add to begin. All question types have a few fields for data that is relevant to the question type, such as question text, choices in the case of multiple choice, feedback, and so on. Let's enter our question. In our question, as well as our answer, we'll be using variables with randomized values so each student sees a different version of the quiz. In order to let wireless quizzes know it's a variable, we need to precede it here with the pound sign. To get to the math editor, click the Show Hide button and click the square root symbol. What Wireless Quizzes adds is a new dialog for handling mathematical behavior called Wireless Quizzes Studio. We can always access it by clicking this icon. Once we're in Quizzes Studio, the available options will depend on the type of question we're editing. We're using a short answer type in this example, which has the most features in Quizzes Studio out of all the question types. What we'll find here are settings for controlling various aspects of the question in a way that allows mathematical content to be handled flexibly. The different options are divided into four distinct tabs. As we mentioned before, different question types will vary here. For example, the true-false question has no validation tab since the only possible answers are true and false. Let's go over the tabs one by one. To start with, the Correct Answer field has an integrated math type editor, which allows typeset mathematical formulas to be used as a correct answer. This means students will have the same editing possibilities for their answer as well. Below the editor, we also find additional options for the student's input. The next tab is called Validation. Wireless Quizzes recognizes mathematical input from the student, and here we control the details of how to assess this input. We can ask for specific units, control which symbols are recognized as constants, as well as a wide range of format options. Below that, there is the Variables tab. Without this tab, Wireless Quizzes is already capable of a lot, but once we start using variables, we will truly expand all that Wireless has to offer. In this interface, we can define variables to use in several parts of the question.
The environment is a computer algebra system, which means variables can be numeric as well as symbolic. By using some of our random functions, we can make a variable take on a random value in a range we specify, then different students viewing the question would have different questions with different answers. This is a typical scenario for use of variables, and with a bit of creativity, there is a wide variety of possibilities. The last tab is called Preview, and the name is pretty self-explanatory. Here we can quickly simulate the evaluation of a student answer in order to test that all of our settings from the previous tabs are working as we intended. Once you're done with Wires Quizzes Studio, press the OK button on the bottom left or press Cancel to exit without saving any changes. When you're finished editing the question, first assign a grade to it and then click Save Changes at the bottom and the question will be added to the question bank. Once you're finished adding questions, click Done, then select Quiz. Finish selecting the external tool, then save and publish the quiz. Now you can preview the quiz if you want to make sure everything's working as intended. Now we see our question and answer are working correctly, but we can also edit the question if we want. Let's do that. In our case, all we want to do is add a question mark at the end of the question, but to edit the math, I would double click it to open it in the math type editor. If I wanted to edit the algorithm, or if one of the variables isn't working correctly, I can click the Quizzes Studio icon in the Answers section. Once I'm finished, I'll click Save Changes. After once again verifying all is well, I finish review and we're finished. We've added two more questions that we didn't show on the video, so now our complete quiz has three questions. Let's see how the quiz looks to the student. All the coefficients and constants will be different for each student because we programmed them to be randomized. We've also ticked the box for shuffled questions, so not only will no two students see the exact same questions, but no two students will see the questions in the same order. Let's finish our quiz. We've specified in one of the questions we want the students to show their work. They do that on the scratch pad, which they'd access by clicking the expander button, then the pencil icon. This will be passed along to the teacher as is. Students can go back and retry any question they want as long as they haven't submitted the quiz yet. We didn't answer two of the questions, so let's click Return to Attempt. We'll answer the remaining questions and submit the quiz for grading. Once we've submitted our quiz, we can check our results for each of the questions, whether we were correct or incorrect. Here's the question where we showed our work. Let's check our grades in our gradebook. We see we've taken one quiz. We got a score of three for 100%. Now back in faculty view, we could view the gradebook for the class and see the details on any student if we want. We can also update the grading if warranted or provide feedback notes to a student. This has been a short overview of how to make a question with wires quizzes. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials or visit our website at www.wireless.com. Follow the link at the top right to learn more about Wireless Quizzes for Canvas.